Over the last several years, we have really focused our efforts on readiness for any contingency needed. I'm really proud to be a part of the U.S. Army Pacific team. Uh, it's the Army's largest service component command. It, it's a vast area of the Pacific. 16 time zones with 36 countries and 24 of 36 megacities in the world are growing in the Pacific. It's also interesting, seven of the 10 largest armies in the world are in the Pacific. It is a vast region. There is the, we call it the tyranny of distance. And it hasn't changed that much when you look, sometimes you think modern technology can shrink that tyranny of distance. Uh, but actually, if you look at a ship in World War II, it maybe took 28 to 30 days to sail from the West Coast. It takes 26 to 28 today. So a couple days early, you know, still a long ways to go. And we know now aircraft can get places quicker, but we don't have as many of them. So you know, there are challenges. So it's a, it's a vast region. The other interesting fact in the Pacific, we have seven alliances in the world as a nation, the United States. Five of the seven are in the Pacific. An alliance with Korea, Japan, Philippines, Thailand, Australia, New Zealand, those, those alliances are key, five of the seven in the Pacific. And obviously, you're gonna do the most with your alliance partners. And, and if, for example, and you look in, in my 30 plus years dealing with the forces in Korea, I've never seen us closer. It's just an ironclad relationship. In the past, we've had the luxury of maybe six, eight months to build up forces. It's not gonna be that way in the future, and they have to be ready to fight tonight with what we have and ready to go. I feel very confident right now, as I said, pray for peace, I hope we don't have, but if we're needed, I could uh, look those parents in the eye and we have really focused readiness that the folks are trained and ready for whatever contingency is required. On the peninsula, we've shifted over the years in that probably about to six years ago, the U.S. was totally in the lead on the peninsula, in Iraq, Army forces would follow and Iraq military. Uh, well, it's shifted and the Iraqs are in the lead and they have a tremendous army, tremendous military. That combined effort is a huge advantage. You know, we're, we're better together. But when you have folks who are working together daily and then a crisis occurs, guess what? It's, uh, they know what to do. You don't want to have to form a relationship in the crisis. It's too late. So but well before the crisis, you're working together on a daily basis as a combined division. Uh, that's that's going to uh, lead to victory should somebody be stupid enough uh, to uh, to challenge us. Yeah.